Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you the amazing Christmas haul I did at the Dollar Tree. I'll be decorating my tree and sharing a special little Christmas tradition. Plus, stay tuned to see what I do with these gift bags. Decorating for Christmas just wouldn't be the same if you didn't have a wonderful Christmas scent in the background. I just got this cloven orange candle from Michaels and I am loving this scent. Uh, today we're going to be decorating my house for Christmas. It is crazy just how much Christmas stuff I have accumulated over the years. And my mom had just recently gone through all of her Christmas stuff and decided to pass on some of my favorite childhood decorations that I just can't wait to put up for Adriana. I think she's going to love them just as much as I did. Christmas was always my mom's favorite holiday and she always made it so special for me and my sister. And this year um, is Adriana's second Christmas. Um, her first Christmas she was only about a month old, not even. So this year she's really going to enjoy Christmas and opening presents and having that excitement with Christmas morning. We just can't wait to celebrate with her. Uh, the tradition in my house growing up was we always decorated on November 1st. Right after Halloween, we got so excited. My mom would always go all out decorating the house for Christmas. So I'm trying to stick with the November 1st. So I'm a little late to the game, but we did put away all of our fall stuff on November 1st and started pulling out everything for Christmas. So I'm excited to start decorating with you guys and showing you all my cool stuff that I have had for many years. This isn't gonna be like most of the YouTube videos you've seen of people decorating their house. My Christmas decorations don't have a total flow to them like most people. I have a lot of sentimental pieces mixed into my Christmas decorations that I love to keep out every year so they're not there's not much that matches per se but it all goes well it's very Christmassy and it has a lot of tradition attached to it so I do love putting everything out each year so with that being said let's get started before I get started decorating, I wanted to show you something. Uh, yes, this is a pickle. And what I do every year is I hide it inside my Christmas tree and don't tell anybody that I've put it in there. And when someone comes over to look at my Christmas tree, the first person that notices it in there, um, they get good luck for the whole year. So I typically don't tell anyone that there's a pickle in my Christmas tree. I wait until someone notices it. And as soon as they see it, um, they usually mention, hey, there's a pickle in your Christmas tree. What's that doing in there? And then I tell them, well, you now have good luck for the whole year. So let's get started on decorating this Christmas tree. So I have hidden the pickle in the Christmas tree and I'm gonna show you where I put it. It's just tucked in way back here. There it is. So you can still kind of see it when I go back now that you know where it is. And Louie, you're not gonna tell anyone where it is, right? You're not gonna tell anyone where the pickle is, right? Okay secret safe with you thanks I just wanted to share a tip with you guys if you take all your Christmas ornaments out of the boxes and lay them out on a table you can see what it is you actually want to use on your Christmas tree instead of doing the process of elimination as you're going along so this helped me decide what I actually wanted to put for ornaments on my tree this year instead of just putting everything on there I chose to do a colored theme of like white and gold a little bit of silver and a hint of red here and there. I just found it super helpful having it all laid out on a table for me. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe, and I've gotten a 
Almost finished product. I had a tree skirt I've used for probably my entire adult life and it's seen better days so I do need to get a new tree skirt. Other than that the tree is done and we do set aside a little box of sentimental ornaments that we plan on decorating the tree with on Christmas Eve with Adriana. Um, that's just a new little tradition we've decided we wanted to start. Okay, so I might have done a thing. I took a break from decorating and went to the Dollar Tree and was pleasantly surprised with everything that I found there. These hand towels were a great find. Uh, $1.25 each and they look so cute together so I'm excited to put them in my kitchen. I got a few ornaments. They had these super trendy trailers. Uh, this has a bell on it. And this peace sign with the trendy buffalo check. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, but I have a couple of ideas. I got these really adorable Christmas tree tea lights. I bought three of them because I feel like grouped together they would look even more adorable. I got a little white Christmas tree because I haven't decided if I wanted to put a Christmas tree up in my daughter's room yet or somewhere else in the house that we don't typically decorate. I got a flannel back tablecloth. I did an originally buy a cloth tablecloth from HomeSense, but I changed my mind because uh, husband and kids, am I right? I just need to be able to wipe down the tablecloth instead of having to strip it down every time we eat something and put it in the wash. And then we got uh, some pretty beautiful 
gift bags. I'm not actually going to use them as gift bags. I'm going to possibly put a couple of them into picture frames and make them some pretty affordable wall art. I have a lot of just random picture frames that I'm planning on crafting with and these uh, gift bags would be perfect for inside of them. One of my favorite ones is actually this one. It's got that wood look to it and it says Merry Christmas obviously with some beautiful Christmas trees on it. And then the one behind it says tis the season and I just love the holly wreath. And the believe one is pretty neat too. It's the words are sparkly and it's got that rustic feel to it. Um, and then I have these, they were wreath rings with hollies and sprayed branches. I am planning on using that on my DIY mirror and wreath. They also have this really cute ornament that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet either, but it was just too cute not to purchase it. And uh, the colors just go so well with everything we're doing in our house to this year. The other thing that's worth mentioning is this tumbler. It says it's the most wonderful time of the year. They had a couple other sayings on them, but I just think it's super cute. I love the buffalo check and I need to make sure I'm drinking as much water as I can during the day. So having these tumblers are super handy. And for $1.25, I mean, you can't go wrong. And the last thing I got were these removable hooks. I like to put them on my mantle so that when I hang up my stockings, I don't have to use a hammer or nail, or even if I'm hanging up little pictures somewhere, these are great for that. It says it holds up to 0.2 pounds. I think they hold a bit more than that because I have used these in the past, but if you're not sure, just use two of them. If you're hanging up a stocking, that might be a little bit heavier. That is the end of my Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so we're gonna get started with doing some do-it-yourself Christmas artwork. And all I'm going to be using is gift bags that I got from the Dollar Tree and these picture frames that I have left over from our wedding. So we are going to get started on that. It's very, very easy and I can't wait to show you the end results. Okay, so pro tip when doing this craft, it took me to the very last picture frame to figure this one out, but if you just take the glass insert out and put it on top of the gift bag and cut around it, you will have the perfect size to be putting inside of your picture frame. So don't wait till the end like I did. Start right at the beginning, it will save you a ton of time. Some bonus to this do-it-yourself craft is that with the gift bags they have name tags on them so I just remove them off of each gift bag and I can reuse them later for gift tags.
happy with the way this turned out and it only cost me $1.25 per frame because the gift bags were $1.25 each and the frames I already had they were given to me. Stay tuned next Thursday to see part two of this video where I decorate the inside of my house with everything that you see here. This is what everything is going to look like unboxed. I can't wait to show you where everything ends up going. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.